I thought I would make a video explaining um, the relationship that people who are really into reptiles and collecting snakes and things like that, um, how people interact with these animals and why people care about them so much because I think a lot of uh, normal people who come across people like me who like to keep reptiles as pets as opposed to cats and dogs, they think we're kind of weird. And, you know, while I can understand that, I don't think people understand why we love these animals and why we would rather have them be our companions than another one. So I was just going to make a little video explaining my philosophies on owning snakes, boa constrictors, lizards, iguanas, things like that. Um, so that maybe someone out there who watches this can have a better understanding or people can just have a better appreciation for why people love to keep these animals and that we're not all crazy and we don't all throw these animals away. In fact, we really all care about these animals a lot and I think they're very misunderstood and with a lot of the legislation out there limiting how people can admire and care for these animals, I think it's really important to not lose them in the world of captive reptiles because, you know, these animals can be a great asset to education for kids and younger kids and, you know, stuff like that. Like when I was nine years old, I met a man, his name was Mr. Dan, and he had a ball python. And the day I met that python and interacted with it, literally, like, changed my life, and reptiles have been a big passion of mine since, and I would love to pass that along to anyone who wants to listen to me, so here's my little video. Um, at work, a lot of people were telling me that they're really afraid of snakes, and I always ask people why, just to understand why, and I find a lot of people don't really have a good reason, they just they say, I just am, or they're in my way, or they're just scary, or they're gross, or any number of things. It's not usually a fear that's derived from um, an actual experience this person has had with a snake. It's just, most of these people have never even interacted with one. You can see that Ruben here is very curious, and he's kind of cold and the computer's warm, so he keeps gravitating towards the screen. But, um, when you own a reptile, you have to understand how it works in the wild and how it behaves in the wild in order to respect how it'll behave in your home. Because reptiles are strictly instinct, like, ba they make their decisions based on instinct. They're not like cats and dogs that have, you know, personal emotions. And I say personal emotions as in they get depressed, they get attached, they're loyal, things like that. Reptiles don't really get that way, they're just a matter of, um, it's like a mutual respect kind of thing, and they have their modes, like every snake has a feeding mode, and if you don't feed your giant Burmese python that can get up to 10 to 20 feet, and it's not in the proper enclosure, because like snakes are all muscle, so if they escape their enclosure and they're hungry and you have a family pet around or a small child, it's its instinct to find something to eat. It doesn't matter if it's your kid or your friend or your pet. Snakes don't think that way. They're just doing what they would do in nature. And if you as an owner of a reptile don't understand how this animal functions in nature, then sometimes its behaviors will seem very barbaric to you. And that's not at all how it is. They, they just... reptiles, snakes, lizards, everything. They just function, they're born with everything they're going to ever need to know. And if you really think about why you're afraid of a snake, I feel like a lot of people don't come up with a very good reason. It's just a stigma. And I find when people meet Reuben here, even though he's a small size, because he's only a juvenile, and he will get bigger, and that will get more intimidating to people, they often are very curious about him, just like he would be about anybody he would meet. And I have conditioned Reuben to be an educational animal, meaning I handle him every single day. I trust that he behaves with people. He's very docile. He has never bitten me. He never shows any um, aggression towards anything except for his food, which is a natural thing. And so I, I've cared for Reuben in that way so that he can show people 
that snakes aren't scary and people can hold him and I can feel confident that he's not going to have a bad experience with somebody he doesn't know. And just when you own a reptile, like I said before, it's all instinct. I used to have an iguana and she lived until she was 10 years old and it was the same way. You have to understand how their environment is naturally, how they behave in that environment naturally, how they uh, respond to threats, how they defend themselves, because at some point in your life with your reptile you will scare them and they will defend themselves in the way that they would in the wild and you have to be ready for that. With snakes, like boa constrictors, they bite and they run away. With iguanas, they whip you with their tail or they run away or they bite you and I have been whipped, bitten, <laughs> scratched, I haven't been bitten by Reuben yet, but it's simply because I haven't accidentally made a mistake. I got another 30 years with this guy, so I'm sure somewhere along the line he'll bite me. And you know what? It's not going to be scary because it's going to be my own fault and I'm going to be expecting that. And I feel when you find these little guys in pet stores or you buy them on the fly or you're at an expo and you really don't know much about them, then that behavior surprises a lot of people and makes them think reptiles are savage or barbaric or bad and they're just they're really not they're just misunderstood because you have to think about them in a different way than you would a domestic animal because no reptile is a domestic animal so that's kind of the basics of boas there's a lot of bad stigma with reptiles out there and if people who own them or don't know them that well, just take the time to research them and understand how they behave in the real world and in the wild, you're going to have a lot more luck getting along with them in um, captivity than you ever thought that you could. So you just got to respect boundaries, understand one another, and find a way to coexist because then you'll have a really rewarding relationship with your reptile and it'll be super cool. And you'll just, you'll get a lot out of it once you figure out how to function together. And that's why I do this. And that's why I love it. And I hope that someone out there will give it, give snakes a chance a little more after this. But, you know, when I take Ruben out for walks in the city, I respect that people are scared of snakes. And if someone freaks out, like, I'm more than willing to, you know, put them away or get away from them because... You know, even if you can't explain your fear, you're still afraid, and fear drives people to do really crazy things, and I'd rather just respect the fear than fight someone else's fear and have something bad happen to me, or to Reuben, or to the name of snakes involving the news or whatever, so, yeah. Say bye, Rue!